What if I told you about a company that has recently received a 330 crore work order? Its revenue has climbed almost 21.6% in the latest quarter and over the past two years, the stock has surged from 161 rupees to a massive 1712 rupees. That is a jump of 963%. You surely want to know the name of the stock, right? Well, stay tuned as we explore the company's transformative journey and future potential. Hey there and welcome to another exciting episode of Noisemaker where we screen through the noise to uncover hidden gems in the stock market. I am Ujwal Sil, a research analyst at Desolado Advisory and today we are spotlighting two companies that are making waves within their respective industries. Please remember this is not a buy or a sell recommendation of any sort. So our today's lineup includes Atvet Infratech Limited and Census Tech Limited. So the first company is Advait Infratech Limited. Advait Infratech is a niche player in power and telecom infrastructure. It rec uh, recently received an order for the development of 50 megawatt out of a total of 500 megawatt tariff-based battery storage systems. This will be a domestic project and will last for approximately 18 months. This is expected to further enhance the order book currently standing at 209.6 crores. Financially, Advait reported a revenue of 209 crores for financial year 24, showcasing a 101% growth year on year. Promoter confidence uh, in the company remains high, with a consistent stake of 73.53% over the last four years, with ambitious KPX plans to expand electrolyzer production capacity to 1000 megawatts by 2030 from 300 megawatts as of fin uh, September financial year 20, uh, 25. The next company that we've covered is Sciences Tech Limited. It is a leading player in geospatial and IoT solutions. Uh, it has recently announced that as per its earlier communication uh, regarding letter of award worth 331 crores approximately, it has now received a work order worth 330 crores. This is a major step towards the achievement of management's ambitious goal of 1000 crores in revenue within the next two, three, uh, two to three years. For the current quarter, that is quarter two financial year 25, the company reported revenue of 90 crores a quarter-on-quarter -quarter growth of 21.6%, with EBITDA margins improving to 19%, growing by 100 BPS quarter-on-quarter. -quarter. The management has also highlighted a robust 1,000 crore order book reflecting the company's solid growth tra uh, trajectory. Sciences has strategi uh, strategically diversified into water, energy, telecom, and urban planning while expanding its geographical footprint to the US and Germany. So these are the two companies that we have shortlisted that you can keep in your watch list. Now going back to the previous to our previous picks that we had talked about in our previous editions of Noisemaker, we'll talk about their performance. The first company is Ajmera Realty and Infra India Limited. We covered this stock when it was trading at 961.2 rupees, and now currently it is up by 13.7% and currently trading at 1093 rupees. The next company is Saregama India Limited. We covered it at 471.5 rupees and the stock is up by 10.4% and is currently trading at 520 rupees approximately. The next is Rate Gain Travel Technologies Limited. We covered the stock at 705 rupees. It is now up by 1% and currently traded at, uh, trading at 711.6 rupees. The next company is Indostar Capital Finance Limited. We had covered it at 248.7 rupees and it is up by 14.6% and currently trading at 285 rupees. Uh, our last previous pick that we'll be talking about is Sealmatic India Limited. We covered it at 605 rupees and this is, uh, it is down by approximately 4.9% and currently trading, uh, trading at 575 rupees. Now to summarize everything that we've talked about in the current edition of Noisemaker, I'll give a brief summary of it. The first company that we discussed was Sciences Tech, uh, the, uh, was Advait Infratech Limited. Uh, Advait recently received a 50 crore battery storage project and plans to scale their manufacturing capacity to 1000 megawatt by 2030 and uh, that will position it at, at the forefront of India's energy transition. And the next company that we had covered was Sciences Tech Limited. The company recently received a work order of 330 crores and it has an ambitious target of achieving 1000 crores in revenue in the next two to three years. Sciences can actually benefit from India's infrastructure, infrastructure push. And yeah, that's it for today's Noisemaker. If you would like more details, download the attached Noisemaker PDF in the description below. Thanks for tuning in and stay ahead in the stock market with Desfilado Advisory. Until next time, happy investing.